what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're gonna be talking about scream 7 in this video here again today we're gonna be talking about nev campbell who has allegedly commented on melissa barrera's firing from the project and once again if she'd be back for scream 7 or not now this was from a comment left on beyond the mass channel which i'll leave a link to that video so you guys can read the comment in the description but these are very brief comments but in the past she stated that she'd be down if they paid her correctly and if they're respecting her of course then at another point prior she said she can't talk about it likely due to the strike but she was also saying she couldn't talk about it before the strikes as well so i don't know why she was doing that there then more recently Cinestealth, who has been right about projects like freaky friday 2 crystal lake and the halloween series tweeted that they had it on good authority that producers were still trying to play hardball with nev as recently as right after the strikes ended big screen leak says there have been no negotiations melissa barrera actually was fired a month ago before the reports according to major outlets so the franchise is seemingly just in shambles from the outside looking in However, as I stated, allegedly Nev made brief remarks about Melissa Barrera's firing. Let me read this comment here again from Beyond the Match channel. I'll leave a link to the video in the description for you guys to read this comment, and then I'll share my thoughts on it after I get done reading it. So, according to David Walker, they go on to say, Today I finally met the Scream Gang at Steel City Con. All of you that said it was the best experience of your lives were being 100% truthful. Matthew Lillard is the coolest person on this earth. He is such a larger than life guy in the flesh. I also met Dermot Maroney too. He signed my Scream 6 Steel Case box. I met Neff Campbell and she is so sweet and humble. I mentioned Melissa Barrera being dropped from Scream 7 and she said it was unfortunate, but she had heard about it. I was cheeky and after, asked if she was going to be back for Scream 7. She said, who knows at this point? Then they go on to say in the comments to this, they said, yeah, she didn't really focus on it. She just said she said that she had heard about it and that it was unfortunate. She was sympathetic, though. Now, here's the thing. So unfortunate is a reasonable PR like response. Wouldn't you agree? She again also said, who knows at this point when asked about returning to seven, but was sympathetic about Melissa's situation. Obviously, a lot of folks would love for Nev to just say, oh, screw Spyglass, and I'm not returning to Scream 7. So if these alleged comments are true, I can see some people getting up in arms, getting their pitchforks, stomping their feet until their heels are bleeding, you know, the whole nine yards. Then there are others who understand that she is her own person with her own life and finances to consider that we may know nothing about, and we quite literally do not care because that is her life. We don't care. If she signs on to return for Seven, then so be it. It's not a decision anyone but Nev has to live with, so I'm not going to lose sleep over it i would implore a lot of you to not lose sleep over it either there are ways to stand in solidarity with your peers and those you've worked with on film with if nev's form of solidarity is texting melissa showing support in private and melissa is responding approving of all this saying she doesn't hold anything against you or anyone else who still does the movie then that's enough melissa barrera does not seem like a very unreasonable person i'm going to re readdress that later on not everything has to be this public display of hey look how more morally righteous i am it just does not have to be that of course nev has heard about it and there's a chance she has chatted with melissa melissa could simply just hope that her co-stars respect and applaud her for standing firm on what she believes in and not try to participate in the censorship of her freedom of speech the way spyglass has now done and, and that's how i see it if you're here in this country, you need to be able to just speak freely about topics like what she's addressing. She did she did nothing wrong with what she was doing in terms of expressing her First Amendment right. What Spyglass did, in my opinion, that's wrong because they were the ones that started acting childish. They were the ones that started firing her, getting her out the door and used it as an excuse to get her out the door in what I've been seeing from the report since she was allegedly fired, reportedly fired, I should say, a month prior to when we first started hearing about it. So because Melissa wasn't the one who was getting pissy about all this, that was Spyglass. She doesn't seem like she wants all of the people who were previously involved to just say hey you know what fuck that movie stand stand up for me by saying fuck that movie she doesn't seem like she wants that considering if you look back at everything she was about to work with them she was about to put morals aside and work with spyglass who were the ones who chose to fire her granted that doesn't mean she knew what side of the spectrum spyglass fell on i don't want to give give them too much credit 
it's just a lot to consider when you talk down on talent who are going to likely choose to do scream 7 and say oh well they aren't supporting melissa barrera but we don't know where that threshold of support even ends for her as her own person melissa doesn't seem like an unreasonable individual and i will 100 percent believe she isn't stressing scream 7 isn't sitting around hoping people don't sign on she knows how this industry is but she still shouldn't have been fired over this because it's absolutely ridiculous anyway nev's brief comments about the situation being unfortunate is just nev being professional as always the remark about who knows at this point for her return lines up with the fact that they're in a creative overhaul and they haven't made an offer to her yet i will say this though it's just a rumor but two times now i have heard someone at spyglass allegedly doesn't like nev campbell this has been told to me from two different people who have been right about some stuff they shared with me in the past. You don't have to like someone though to do business with them. In fact, I'd argue that when doing business, you should never go into it worrying about who the hell is liking you, but who is treating you right and who is treating you wrong. You can dislike a lot of people, but still have enough sense to understand that your dislike of a person is not grounds to mistreat them. Now, if you don't agree there, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> So her saying who knows for now to me means she's not ruling it out until an offer is made or she just doesn't want to discuss it any further and gave a simplistic reply because I know a lot of people would have loved for these alleged comments to have been her saying hey you know what I'm not returning because I don't like how they treated Melissa Barrera but that's not that's not necessarily how this is going to work that's the view you would have in terms of what you want but that's not obviously you would have to be aware that that's not how it's gonna that's not how this cookie is gonna crumble there are people who are going to jump on the opportunity to make money they have to sustain a livelihood in some capacity they are going to do business with people who maybe they don't morally agree with nine times out of ten on very serious topics that's going to happen it's not going to stop it's going to keep occurring through and through because that's the society that has existed for so long it's not going to just stop right now people are going to sign on to do scream 7 and if one of them happens to be nev campbell then so be it let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and numbers of video in the description i have links to my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video